Friday Morning Conversation with Shy Carter, Cole Swindell, and David Lee Murphy. Got a full house. Hey, guys. Everybody good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's uh, start one by one. Shy, I haven't met you yet. This is it. Good. What's up? I, I've heard a lot about you uh, from a lot of people. Keith Urban mm. loves you. Um, so, so first of all, really great to see you for the first time. Absolutely. Great to meet you, sir. Uh, Cole. Cole showed up, but this is the shirt I was talking about on the yeah. show. He brought the shirt. Crook and Chase. <laughs> the Crook and an Chase awesome shirt. shirt. Yeah. Where did you get this Crook and Chase shirt? eBay, man. You, so uh, you bought it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, an original. I, I've never seen one, and you sent a message like, man, I love that shirt. I was like, I'll just give you mine. Well, I that's wasn't a... trying to, like, get it his from him. <laughs> I was like, hey, Cole, where did you get that? I was just that? glad somebody else appreciated it like I did, because yeah. I was like, man, I got to have that shirt. Well, so how it's... about I wear it and then give it back to you? Well, we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> and then we just change. Yeah. Every time you I'll... come, we exchange the shirt back. <laughs> I love that. Okay? I love that. Yeah. And then, obviously, one of my favorite people, David Lee Murphy. Good morning. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, too. This time, though, I will say... You have a beard. Yeah. You're Mount, full mountain man here. Yeah, I, well, I cut it down. Was it? it was I was much... gone, I'd gone full Duck Dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got here, pressure. You guys are all doing a song together. Shy, it's your song. Yes, you, sir. You've put them on. And so tell me about this song, Beers with Friends, like how it came together, why these two knuckleheads. Like, tell me about this. <laughs> well, shoot, David, uh, he came out to the country where, where I got a nice little studio set up with my guy Brian Simpson and... Shoot, we just we just kicked around some ideas, man. And we just started playing that, and we were like, "Oh yeah, this we like this." So we just wrote it real fast. It was fun, and we went to demo it, and uh, it was turning out real great. So, man, we got a uh, we got a uh, Kenny Chesney to help out on the production, and Buddy Cannon, and they made it sound slamming. So we were like, "Man, we got to call Cole, <laughs> <laughs> get Swin Diesel on here." <laughs> Is it for you, is it intimidating to ask these big stars to hop in? and Because you've written massive songs, but as far as being an artist in country music, like, you're building that right now. Yes, sir. Is that a tough call to make to go, hey, Cole, hey, David, like, let's go? Yeah, for sure, man. I know they got a lot going on, so I'm just super grateful and honored that they would get on the jam with me. Yeah, for me, it's always interesting to hear the songwriter perspective. And we're going to play that song in a second, Beers with Friends. But I want to ask you, Shy, because... You wrote what I think was the best song of last year, the top two or three. And I, and I said it before you were even here. God whispered your name. Wow. Thanks like, so much, man. And I told Keith that, too. I was like, this song, it actually, I, probably I think that because it reminds me of, you know, my fiance. Yeah. And, like, it just didn't happen for me forever. You right. know, I'm 41. Mm. I'm about to get married for the first time ever. I'd never, I'd never had even felt near that. But then I heard that song, and I was like, Wow, like I feel that. Like sometimes the song actually touches like your core. Absolutely. And you wrote that, so you walk into the room the day that song kind of started. Like what what happened there? What was the genesis of that? Man, it was just another day out there in the country. It was a beautiful day. My brother was there with me. He wrote it with me, Micah, and uh, James Slater's awesome dude. And he just got he just got on the piano and just started playing those chords and singing it. And it was just it was something spiritual, you know. And this awesome dude, Chris August, he's start hitting the licks and stuff and we just once again we just start kicking it around it just flows it's like it's coming from it's coming from god man you know and it's just a good spiritual vibe we all been through a lot so you know when that special person comes along man and help you get through your life man it's something real nice and special yeah when keith urban <laughs> says hey i want to cut that like did you send it to keith or did it get to keith we sent it to Keith Missy, my manager. She works with him, and she's always been getting me a lot of stuff going. So Keith is a good friend, and uh, we just thought it'd be great for him. Man. It's so good. Bro. From when you wrote it to when it was put out as a single, like what's the dis- well, how long does that take? Uh, that one didn't take quite as long as some of them do. I can't even tell you. Maybe it was about a year. Or and, and that's short. That's what's funny. Like oh, yeah. yeah, that's short. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shy Carter's here, Cole Swindell, David Lee Murphy. I do want to play this song that you're in for first. Are we guys, are we cool to spin that before we come Absolutely. back, everybody? Yes. yes All right. Sir. So, Beers with Friends, it's Shy Carter, Cole Swindell, David Lee Murphy. And so, the is, is there like a big party music video or a beer video coming out where you guys are Jake? Because I can just see it now. Absolutely. Yeah, it's coming, man. It's just, like Big Cole said, three minutes of a straight party, baby. Cole Swindell, let me ask you a couple questions, buddy. What's up, man? Well, first of all, how, how the heck are you? I'm good. It's, you know, starting to have some shows coming back, and it's just good to be back on the road and doing what, what we love, man. Your first show back, your first real show. Walk me through what's happening inside your head and your heart. Man, uh, Panama City Beach, um, big festival, ton of people out there, and... 
I don't know. Just the to be honest, I mean, the anxiety. I mean, that's a lot of lyrics and and everything. <laughs> I haven't done. I mean, I haven't done that in a while, and it's, that's been the longest I've had a break from being on stage. And it was, I don't know. I would. I was excited just to get back to doing it, but once we got up there and I got through the first song, it was just like, you know, like I'd been there before. And it's, like I said, it's it's just good to see people back in the crowd. I mean, all the Zoom and, and virtual stuff was amazing to keep us all in touch, but to, man, just the human interaction, that's the energy. Uh, I think we've missed that a lot. So it was uh, it was good to be back up there. What song of yours... Were you like, oh, that's it? They're singing it back, like you're feeling it. What was that first song that you did where you're like, this is what I was missing? God, I, I probably ain't worth the whiskey. That's just uh, that's one of my favorite moments of every show, and just to see that many people out there, it was like, I mean, it looked like a different year. I couldn't believe it was 2021, just because of all everybody's been through. But um, yeah, that was the one that that uh, I was like, man, we're we're back. So we're gonna play single Saturday night in just a minute, but. That thing came out in May of 2020, and I was saying this on the show, because it's now, it's like researching like crazy, it's testing, it's a monster hit. And I was like, I don't know what Cole Swindell's got to do. It's taken a, over a year. The song is a monster. Why? And I, I was getting irritated for you, which I find myself doing a lot of times. Yeah, you've had my back from day one, man, and I, I, it means more than you know. But that, yeah, it's a... So it's, it's congratulations just, first. Congratulations. Here we are. It's about to be a number one yeah. song. I love it. Can't get enough of it. But geez, man, I was 11 when this thing started. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I might be married by the time it, it yeah. got here, but I'm, I'm still. No, I was telling life. Bobby it took so long. I thought when Bobby was telling me it was it, where it was, Just now, yeah. I, I thought, I mean, if, if you had asked me, I would have said it already was a yeah, number one yeah. a long time ago. So, yeah, it's yeah. a weird. It's it's a it's a weird thing. You all you have the number ones, but there's like a small group of people. I, how do we how do we convince them? How do we smack them in the head? I don't know, man. I know uh, who they are. Let me list them. Yeah, I, list them. I got you. Guys. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah. You you've got mm -hmm. a little more pull than me on that. Here's the only other thing I'll say, and then I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna have you play a new song if that's okay. okay. Yeah. Um, this is how I because I feel like a friend. Like I always, I'm like, you guys got to do Cole right. And here's when I get irritated for you. And I know you're gonna be like, no, nah, it's okay, it's okay. Here's why I get irritated for you. People have to stop asking you the question about selling merch for Luke. That question's got to end at some point in your life. <laughs> I, if I were you, I'd pull my – some, every time somebody asked me that question, I would rip my hair out. Yeah, I, I asked it five years ago. I know. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I just think that kind of throws people off. I mean, that's not why I moved to Nashville, you know, but it obviously was a huge opportunity. Don't even answer it. Don't even talk about I'm it. Not, I'm no. Not, I, <laughs> I, actually, <laughs> I didn't even do that. I don't yeah, no, no. Who, I didn't want to hear you uh, talk about it. I'm just telling you, and every time it's like – Hey, so you used to sell merch for Luke Bryan. I just want to rip my hair out for you. Yeah, that's so this is my notice to it. everybody else. Stop asking that question. Thank you. Can I say that for you? Please, yes. Stop Replay asking it. that question yes. to Cole Swindell. Thank okay. you. Okay. There we go. What size shirt do you wear? If you wear a T-shirt, Cole, do you wear a medium or large? It uh, just depends on the shirt. I can say we could do a that, full, You're going to have to get that tailored. We could do that a full probably... jersey swap. Okay. And you could have my Garth Brooks old school shirt. I'd give it to that's you. That's pretty awesome. It is. Like, I would jersey swap you right now. Oh, oh, man, now I'm not. I used to swap with you, and now you're going to go with Cole? We got, We don't have to do it today. <laughs> okay. It's fine. <laughs> Amy just run a moment. Yeah, y'all <laughs> really must be different sizes then. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes Bobbies are like a small movie. Well, sometimes when I was real thin, <laughs> it, 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 it just depends. Yeah. Uh, David Lee Murphy, we're back over to you, Ooh. buddy. All right. Good to see you again. Good I always, you. you know, wherever we are. If it's in a parking lot or a side stage of a show here on the studio, you know I love you, right? I love you too. And have. I, as a kid, when I didn't know you, and as an adult more so now that I do. And that's rare. Thank you. Because I think, and I think, Shine Cole, you guys will agree, we grow up and, you know, we're, I graduated high school in the late 90s and, you know, grew up listening to your music. And sometimes it doesn't turn out like you hoped when you get to be and you get to meet people. It, but rarely does it happen where the person's actually cooler. <laughs> and that's you. You're uh, cooler than I could have ever hoped. Yes. Thank you. Um, so mm -hmm. what's, what, what have you been doing the last few months except growing a beard and grow, you, you know, keeping your hair uh, like Actually, I'm cutting, trying to, well, I haven't had cut my hair. I've cut my beard. But I've been writing songs and, um, you know, Shy and I are writing today. Actually. You are? You guys yeah. head out today? Sir. You know, right one called Idiot DJ? Right? You just, we're inspired by something. Yeah. We don't really know. Me minus the love part of it. Yes. <laughs> just a quick monetary question about Dust on the Bottle, because you wrote that by yourself. Are you? Do you still make money from that song? Somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, like when streaming yeah, comes back, I wonder, does it kind of relaunch a new payment into you when, when it kind of picks up again? 
Well, as far as streaming is concerned, I, most from a songwriting standpoint, uh, whoever owns the master makes money. For songwriters on streaming, we don't really make that much money on streaming. Nothing. You ain't making anything from it. Not a lot. Who do I need to lobby? Your congressman. Yeah, I'm done. I'm out. But still, thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, listen, Shy, it's, it's great that, that you came in and, and you brought a whole team with you here. It's yeah. cool that, that they respect you enough to hop on a song with you, wake their butts up in the morning, and come up on this radio show. Yeah. Like, that says a lot about you as a person. Man, thank so, you, thank you know, you. the, the people you surround yourself with, you know, says a lot about who you are. I love the song, Beers of My Friends. Great song. Thank you. Love your work. Shy wrote uh, for Charlie Puth. He wrote... Um, uh, one no, uh, one call one away. One call away. It was all. Only one call yeah. away. Yeah. I didn't know that. I'll be there to save the day. Cause Superman's got nothing on me. Do it. I'm only one call away. Here we go. I, that, I had no idea. That's awesome. My kids love that song. Yeah, that's so great. All right, you guys I mean, check out Beers With My too. Friends. Go follow Shy at Shy Carter Official, at David Lee Murphy, at Cole Swindell. Love you all. Wish we could do this for an hour, uh, but I got to eat. But So I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks but for having us. There they are. Uh, Cole, David Lee Murphy, Shy Carter. Clap your hands for our friends here. Yeah. Play it today. Good to see you guys.